It is one of Baltimore's oldest hospitals, and if you think about this, it opened its doors a year after the end of the Civil War. Ron Matz has more on the, this remarkable achievement in Northwest Baltimore. It is a living symbol of the heart of a community. Sinai Hospital's heart has been beating for 150 years. It's really a tremendous accomplishment. Sinai President Amy Perry says the hospital has provided medical care to generations of Baltimoreans. Well, I can't tell you how many people have said to me, I was born at Sinai, my mom was born at Sinai, my grandma was born at Sinai. That's Dr. Jerome Reichmister back in the day. He's been at Sinai for 50 years. The chief of orthopedics knows the hospital's place in history. Sinai was actually founded in 1866 because of the fact that Jewish doctors could not admit patients to hospitals. The hospital has a commitment to teaching and research. We um, invented the cardiac defibrillator. A lot of people have those in the, <laughs> they're walking around right now um, living a more robust life because of discoveries that happened here. Sinai trains about 140 residents every year. It's become an anchor for the Park Heights community. We're very vibrant. We are involved in our community. We have philanthropic support from the community, and we have a lot of people who believe in our core mission. Ron Matz, WJZ, Eyewitness News. When Sinai first opened, it was located on Monument Street in East Baltimore. The hospital moved to its West Belvedere Avenue location in 1959.